hola guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this very cute no button mask supporter so as you can see instead of putting the buttons because uh i know now it's hard quite hard to access the buttons so i'm just going to show you how to create the ear protector and this little uh, crochet buttons so uh, what you're gonna need I use this crochet hook which is uh, I don't know if you can see it's 3.5 millimeters 3.5 millimeters yes and I use um, cotton yarn so it's I use the blue one and the pink one and some scissors to cut your yarn so let's get started Okay, so uh, we're going to start with a chain 21 first. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, so after you do your chain 21, we are going to skip the first uh, chain from the hook, and then we're going to start in the next chain, which is the second chain from the hook, and do single crochet all the way around. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet single crochet and then repeat that again you do single crochet in the next chain okay so you're going to repeat that single crochet until you reach here until you have one chain remaining so make sure you have this chain remaining and then i'll show you uh how to do the last chain here when you get here at the end okay so after you're done with your single crochet this is how it should look like and here in the last chain from the hook uh you're going to do two single crochet in the same chain so you're going to do single crochet and do another single crochet in the same stitch so that will be our corner stitch and then on the other side you're going to repeat again and do single crochet all the way around okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet in the other chain then single crochet Okay, so you're going to repeat that single crochet until you reach here at this chain, which uh, until you reach here on the other end of the chain, and then I'll show you how to do uh, the other chains at the corner. Okay, so after you're done uh, with your other row until here at the end, we have one, two, three chains remaining here at the corner. So I'm going to put my marker over here before the corner so that I, I know where to end the last uh, the next row. So in this in this row one, two, three, I'm going to increase in all the three rows. So I'm going to do two single crochet in the first chain. And then two single crochet in the next chain. Okay, and then two single crochet in the last chain. So this is the the last, the most last chain here of the other end. So you're going to do two single crochet there in the corner. Okay, so you have three chains at the corner, which you're going to increase all the three of them. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to do a chain one and then you start doing single crochet all the way across. 
So you're going to do single crochet and then single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so repeat single crochet all the way around until you have until here at the end and you have three uh, three chains remaining at the corner and then I'll show you how to do the other three chains at the corner okay so after you're done with that uh, here at the corner the three chains that we have so one two three we're going to increase in all the three so you're going to do two single crochet in each uh, in each stitch here at the corner so you're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch at the corner and then another single crochet in the next one I mean two single crochet in the next one okay and two single crochet in the last chain at the corner two single crochet Okay, so after that we're going again to start doing single crochet all the way around so you're going to do single crochet single crochet and then single crochet and then uh, you're going to repeat that all the way around until here where our marker is okay so after you get to where your marker is we are going to do single crochet here and then you take out your marker and put it there again and then in the next chain uh, we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next chain so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch increase and then again you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next chain so you're going to do two single crochet in the same chain okay and then you're going to repeat that again the last time single crochet and increase in the other chain so you should do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and increase okay so after that uh, we're going to do just our last row and then we finish so after that you're going to do a chain one and then you're going to repeat single crochet all the way around until the end so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then you're going to do single crochet until you have here until you reach here uh, at the corner here almost at the corner and then I'll show you how to do the last stitches here at the corner so after you're done with that after you get here at the corner we're going to repeat the same process we did here in the last stitches so you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then repeat again single crochet increase in the next stitch and then the last set you do single crochet and then increase Okay, so after that you're going to do a chain one and do single crochet all the way across so single crochet single crochet so this is our last row that we're doing single crochet and do until here where the marker is okay so after you get where your marker is you're going to take out your marker and then single crochet in that chain in that stitch and then in the next in the next stitch you're going to slip stitch and then cut your yarn ok 
Okay, so after you cut your yarn, you're going to do the finishing so you can put your crochet hook in the next chain and pull through the yarn like that to make it look neat. Okay, so there you have it, guys. So that is uh, how I made my mask support. So now I'm going to show you how to do the buttons here at the end. Okay, so uh, for the button, it's quite simple. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the magic ring. And then uh, into the magic ring, we're going to do 12 half double crochet into the magic ring. So you're going to do one half double crochet and then pull through all the three. And then one, so another half double crochet. So two, another one half double crochet. three okay do another one four so do that until you have 12 half double crochet here into the magic ring so after you're done you're going just to pull through your yarn to close the magic ring okay so this is how it's gonna look like and then we are going to slip stitch here at the beginning of the other uh, stitch of the other chain that we created so you're just going to slip stitch okay and then i'm going to pull this yarn all the way through to make it neat okay so this is how it's gonna look like okay so after you're done uh you're just going to here to slip stitch or uh, make a chain one and then cut your yarn long enough then after you cut your yarn, you're going to pull through. So we're going to sew it over here. So I'm just going to cut this little yarn. Just going to pull and cut that. Okay, so you're going to sew this over here, here at the end. And using a needle, Using the long yarn that we cut, you're just going to put it through the needle and then you're going to stitch it all over here first. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hook in, uh, you're going to put your yarn like that, your needle and pull it through here like that, not really tight. And then we're going to stitch it around here in the circle because if you stitch it around here, you cannot put your mask uh, mask end here or mask strap here. Okay, so we're just going to stitch it over here at the end. So you're going to go through. Okay, and pull the needle through. Okay, and then uh, you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so you're just going to stitch it at the middle. Okay, so make sure here uh, the mask strand can go through or you can lift it here at the end and then you can enjoy your mask support. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. You can give this, uh, this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. I really make interesting videos. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.